what's up everyone in this video we're going to see how to deploy a smart event server and this is kind of a continuation from the previous video where we saw how to deploy a log server and with smart events we want to analyze the logs with some additional intelligence on it and what i mean by that uh so let's say that we are looking at logs right uh doing this on a daily basis uh you might be missing uh some events on your network okay even if you enable auto scroll uh there are some there are many blind spots that you will not be looking at right because you're just looking a bunch of ips source and destination and services with smart events, we can have uh, those logs being correlated, meaning we could have a table just uh, where we have the source IPs, the communication between both IPs, the top services. And in case um, we, we detect a lot of an increase on bandwidth consumption, between uh, two hosts or more uh, we can have uh, events that trigger or we can have policies that might trigger an event such as send an email uh, send an SNMP alert or block immediately that type of communication so we can have that with smart event so I have here the logging and monitoring guide just to kind of give you a visual image of uh, what do we have when we deploy an infrastructure with smart event. So we can see here in the picture, uh, this is our gateway and we might have a log server and we might have what they call the correlation unit. It's just a fancy name of saying we have a device or a functionality that is responsible for uh handling the logs that are being received from the log server and all this information can be sent directly to smart event server or from the log server can be sent directly to the smart event server and then we have a client a smart event client where we'll be able to monitor and apply the policies that we want on those events that are being detected so uh in short that's what it is so i have already installed guy operating system so now we're going through the process of first time configuration wizard where we're going to set uh that server as a smart event server so going to log in with our credentials right now the service is on ip 192.168.1.103 so you should be familiar with these steps right now so i'm just going to skip most of them so i'm going to name it smart events i'm just going to be smart event and going to continue continue and now we're going to select uh this select security gateway and we're going to select smart event only. I want to disable this because I'm not connected on the internet. And we're going to click on next. We're going to set the seek key. We're going to press on next and I want to send data and we're going to start the first time configuration wizard. The first time configuration wizard is completed successfully. So now let's add the smart event to smart console. So we're going to take another path this time. I'm going to click on new objects, uh, more objects, network objects, gateways and servers, new checkpoint host. And we're going to name it smart event and the IP 2.168.1.103. And we're going to click on management. We're going to enable logging, smart event server. 
complete smart event configuration we have to install the database at the end We're going to install the policy on the management server and log servers then define the correlation units in the policy table of smart event client and install the event policy okay so we're going to enable smart event correlation unit as well and now let's establish seek I'm going to type uh, secret key and let's initialize the communication and trust is established awesome I'm going to close this and checkpoint recommends that we disable log index if smart event server it's not going to handle uh it's not a log server as well so we're going to press okay and recall the recommendation we have to install the database for all the objects so we're going to install the database and we're going to let it run publish and install it's going to take a minute okay it's doing its thing so first starting on the management server we we if we want we can look at the tasks by pressing f10 and we can see the test details it shouldn't take long to finish okay so the management server is completed and next should be log server and let me bring that up and now the gateway and lastly will be smart event so we have all the pieces together we have the log server we have the gateway we have the management server we have smart event and correlation unit so now we need to access smart event using the smart event client and i'm going to show you in a minute okay now it's completed awesome so to use the smart event client we go to logs and monitor and we'll click on plus to show new tab and should see here somewhere so probably you still have to install the policy so that it, this takes effect so let me install this if not probably we might have to close uh smart console to update so it's still uh loading some process there I'm going to let it finish doing its thing so the post installation is halfway through okay succeeded awesome so let me check again so we should see here uh external apps so let me close that actually let me open another session of smart console and go directly to uh, smart event server okay so we're going to type the password and smart event server is 103 and we should be the fingerprint because this is going to be the first time we are logging on to measurements uh, smart event server so i think i can close this actually let me log out and close this bring this screen back in here CRS failed to be downloaded well so we have a problem there so this might be related to certificates I'm going to pause this for a while and troubleshoot and see what's the problem and once I solve it we're going to continue 
uh we back and i don't know what caused the error uh but experience tells me that when this situation happens you might just close the application and restart it and things should be okay and that's exactly what happened so now we can see it smart uh event client i'm going to open that and should open a new session or i would say directly a session to a smart event client and uh, that's the fingerprint we're connecting to smart event yeah we want to accept that okay and that's the smart event client so recall from the warning that we have to set uh our internal network uh in this case this is 192.168.1.0 and this is done and the other thing is on correlation units we should have all these objects as the log servers and our correlation unit is smart event okay without done we have to install the event policy yes i'm sure i want to do that okay the policy was installed successfully now let's create an event that detect scans on our internal network and you can see that we have different types of event policies and we can create even customized ones uh, such as high connection rate from internal host external host uh, going to select scans and want to enable these or scan from internal network and I want to set this to be uh, severity high and if it detects an event when at least 30 connections over a period of let's say um 10 seconds so if it detects uh let's make it very low uh let's say 10 connections uh over a period of 10 seconds so it's going to trigger an alert and let's say port scan from internal network as well we're going to set it to high to detect even when at least one logs were detected of a period let's say let's say one uh ip sweep internal network and we're going to set this as high as well uh stealth scan sync and prop okay so that should be enough we're going to set to high and stealth as high as well okay and for automatic reactions we could set something such as send an email trigger snmp trap block the source and actually this is what i'm going to do and it's going to block the source uh for 10 minutes and for all these events uh enabled we want to block the source and we're going to do this one ip sweep we're going to block the source as well port scan okay and port scan from internal network we want to block the source okay uh i think everything is okay so now let's install this events policy and it's going to take a minute and meanwhile let's go over smart console and let's bring the logs tab just to prepare everything so we don't have any recent logs so let me bring the browser and try to get to windows server okay and just to identify whether we are reading the logs from the log server and we are not let me change the log file and generate some traffic here and 192 yes that's the one so that's the log file we should be reading from and see it's finished already not yet okay the pulse was installed so we can close this and minimize this window and i'm going to enable auto scroll and fire any map scan on my other computer okay and after some time we can see that the logs uh 
they start to change and if we look on the details we can see that uh now it's being rejected traffic source from 192.168.12 is being rejected and it is hitting uh sam rule and and if you saw my checkpoint video series you know that sam stands for suspicious activity monitoring rule so uh traffic is being dropped immediately without requiring uh an administrator to push the policy uh we can look at the reports so let's take a look at correlated events uh, so we can have a better picture of what's happening or what happened now if we see now uh we can see that it detected a port scan from internal network and we can see the severity high that's the one we define source ip and the destination so that's the power that smart even provides uh for administrators uh there are a lot of features that you can explore in your own uh this was just kind of an introduction uh to get your feet wet as this is a major topic for ccse and even if you don't take ccse i believe that's uh, a good tool to know how to use uh, on a daily basis so i hope you guys enjoyed this one and i'll see you on the next